So you saw the title, I do want to talk about why I'm quitting being a full-time creator. Exactly three years ago, I handed in my bachelor thesis for my social work studies. I had my bachelor's degree and I was so happy that I could be full-time creator because it was the pandemic. I was not really not sure if I wanted to work like a full-time job in social work. And my YouTube channel blew up recently, like, on a small scale but it did pay me enough money to cover my expenses and honestly being self-employed does sound like the dream especially being a content creator a creative job that i always felt like i would like doing if it somehow worked out and so the past three years i navigated um kind of carving out this place for myself on youtube and figuring out what work-life balance means for me. In this process, I learned how to run a business. I learned how to do sponsorships. I learned how to um, have my own back, but also be my own boss and just figure out how much do, can I work with still being happy. Because honestly, this is a dream job, but it's only a dream job if I'm able to craft this job for myself and that means i don't want to follow tips that are good to be successful on youtube if they don't also follow my values so i'm not just going to chase trends and topics i don't even want to talk about i don't want to do sponsorships with brands that don't align with my values i do not want to upload short form videos every single day if short form videos are just not something i enjoy making i don't want to over edit my YouTube videos just because people tend to watch them a few seconds longer and that's better for the algorithm, things like that. Um, and I think I was very, very successful with that. I was very successful with um, realizing what it is that is important to me, with uh, being authentic, with creating content, with uh, crafting a lifestyle and a work-life balance that I can sustain over a long period of time. And honestly, these past few years, were very, very, very happy years for me where I could just live the life I want to live with my family, with my people, with spending time in nature, traveling and having so much freedom because of this job. But also, if you've watched like my last videos on how it's going for me, you would know that financially it's been a struggle. And there we have these two values, like, right? If this is my job, if this is my full-time job, it needs to cover my expenses. And it kind of did, but during the past few months, like especially this year so far, it's really been a struggle and I've had to use some of my savings and it was just not pleasant because I'm worrying so much about money that I can't enjoy a big part of the freedom that I get from this job. And that is when I decided that I do think I want to stop being a full-time creator. So what am I going to do? I did apply for a part-time job in social work and the organization wants me, I want to work for them, but there's just a lot of like paperwork that still needs to be done because working in social work, I don't get paid by a company, but I get paid by like tax money. And so it's not just the organization involved, but the city as well. And Maybe you kind of get what I mean, but I don't understand it. And the person that's in charge of like deciding who's going to work for an organization doesn't understand it completely. So she's working on the paper stuff and I'm waiting for my contract. And if everything goes well, I'm going to start working in social work this year. So you heard it. It's a part time job. And I said, I'm going to stop being a full-time creator. That means I'm not going to stop uploading videos. I'm not going to stop being self-employed. I'm just not going to be only self-employed. And what is this going to mean? I mean, I'm going to have two jobs. So maybe more work. Maybe I have to completely figure out my work-life balance again. But maybe it also just means that I have enough money and that I can use the money and use my time for working instead of worrying about money. Honestly, that's something we have to figure out, but let me kind of share why I made that step. So as I described before, being a full-time content creator is really, really a dream job. 
but it also has its downsides. And I also realized that these downsides stress me quite a bit. Having to prioritize money when making decisions, or at least give money that much weight when it comes to accepting brand deals and doing work or video topics or choosing titles that maybe I wouldn't, just hoping that I, I did that, I would earn a bit more money. Um, it's just really not something I enjoy. I think this is something every artist or every creative person knows that monetizing creativity can be detrimental to enjoying creativity. Creativity just does what it wants kind of sometimes and having to put a value on that and having creativity deliver and pay your rent is just kind of hard. And so I want to just continue making the content I think is valuable, making the content for you and not for the money. There's also something I try to do and that's like uploading Instagram stories every single day. And I think I did it for almost two years. And then I just realized like I'm sharing stories to share stories and I don't feel like I have anything to say. And sometimes I wish I had a bit more privacy of like being able to just not post anything for three days. But if this is my full time job, I'm feeling really guilty if I don't. And so that is also another thing that I want. I really want this business, social media, uh, to be the way I want it to be. Like, I want to decide what I do. Like, I want to be able to be a creator that just uploads one YouTube video a week and sometimes it's on Instagram and sometimes not. I want to choose if I want to post on TikTok or not. And I don't want to kind of follow the rat race of the creator economy instead of following the rat race of the nine to five job. Like, I haven't won anything if I'm just changing the rat race track. And honestly, it does feel a little bit like failing. Mm. I mean, what I tell myself is that I've been a full-time creator for three years, successfully so, because it did cover my rent and everything that I need to pay for. And that is a win, right? I mean, it did work for three years and I'm so, so happy. I tried and I had the courage. A part of me wants to say, like, wants to tell the story of I've been a full-time creator and I've never turned back and I've been a full-time creator for 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. I'm self-employed, I'm my own boss and I'm never gonna work in a 9 to 5 job anymore. Um, I kind of want to tell that story, but I also realize that this is just also stuff that looks good on the outside because what's important is not if I'm the perfect self-employed person, if I'm a successful creator, if I'm a perfect minimalist to change the topic and talk about something that we're always talking on here. It's not about having the perfect wardrobe or um, being just a perfect flawless person. Life changes, life does its own thing and we change and we need to adjust and pivot and everything. And I just think that even though it feels like failing, it's still the best decision. And I still am really looking forward to working this job because it's, it's meaningful work. It's work with people. And some of that I've missed during the past years. But that being said, I'm also super excited to continue making content. And I really do hope that it's gonna lessen the pressure a little bit and that I can be more free and maybe even have more ideas. I'm gonna share YouTube videos with you because I really love the connection and I really like talking about these topics that are so important to me. And I just love the community and reading your comments. And I'm gonna do podcast episodes on Patreon um, where you can join. There are already like about 40 podcast episodes now. And I'm of course also going to do the other podcast and I'm still going to be on Instagram sharing all the stuff that I think is worth sharing and not sharing for the sake of sharing. So I think this is going to be good. I do have to say I'm a bit afraid of losing some freedom because I will have to like ask for vacation days. And I will have to work according to a schedule. I will have to get up very early in the morning sometimes. The freedom that I have right now, I enjoy very, very much. 
But I also see that I can only enjoy some of that freedom that is possible because of the lack of money right now. Because <laughs> what can I do with this freedom if I can't go hiking on a day where I decide I don't want to work if I don't have the money to pay for the train ticket? And how can I enjoy this freedom if I can't go traveling spontaneously or if I can't, um, I don't know, slack off for a week because I fear that if I create less content, I'm going to have even less money and everything like that. So I do think even though I'm kind of afraid of losing freedom, it might happen that I actually gain some different freedom, some monetary freedom, just really hopefully. And some flexibility when it comes to yeah prioritizing time more i think now this sounds counterintuitive because i did say before like i value time over money at a certain point like when you have not enough money you spend so much time saving money that it's again prioritizing money over time just because you're worried if you take public transport instead of the bike this is going to cost more than you can afford and so you take the bike even though it takes longer Things like that. Maybe I'm going to be a full-time creator again in the future. I am aware that what I've been through during the past three years has been such a huge privilege. I was lucky. I did put in a lot of work and I don't know, it was, it was a privilege because I had the, the financial security of having savings if stuff went wrong. I am sharing my expenses with my partner 50-50. It's very, very much so equal. So no one's paying for my expenses. It's been a great three years. And I'm also sure that what's changing it is also gonna be good. And right now I think that's the right thing to do. And I am excited to start this new job. And I'm gonna have kind of a safe paycheck that's just gonna cover like the bare minimum. So I still really want to make money with my self-employed business, but still, we'll see, we'll figure it out. And after all, what I'm doing here is not showing an example of a successful entrepreneur is not showing an example of a perfect minimalist as I said but what I'm doing here is sharing my life navigating what's happening and just trying to prioritize spending time with myself with my loved ones in nature and making sure I can live according to my values and I think that's actually going pretty well. So thank you so, so much for watching. I do hope you will continue to support me. It always helps if you support me on Patreon with super thanks, with watching my content, writing me what you think about it. No matter how, I'm just very grateful you are here. And I'm gonna link you a video here where we can spend a bit more time together. So don't forget to check it out. I hope to see you there or maybe also next week in my next video. Goodbye.